I'll have you know I graduated top of my class in the Navy SEALs. For the record, that's not really Prince Harry. It's just one example of what's sweeping the internet today. The latest deepfakes aren't so much about looks, but sound. See this speech by Leonardo DiCaprio? I stand before you not as an expert. Well, a voice replication company used AI to generate the sound of podcaster Joe Rogan. One of the 400,000 people. Steve Jobs. And the billions of others around the world. Robert Downey Jr. As an actor, I pretend for a living. And others. The technology to quickly clone someone's voice is available to anyone with an internet connection, giving them the ability to make manufactured content like this. I'm hungry. Hey boy, give me some chicken nuggets. To see how the tech works, we headed to Silicon Valley's Resemble AI, a company that recently teamed up with the filmmakers behind the Andy Warhol Diaries, recreating Warhol's voice for some of the narration. I went down to the office because they're making a robot of me. Resemble AI says, unlike other voice cloning platforms, they require a person's consent before uploading samples of their voice, which we gave. So we uploaded a few examples of my own voice and cadence, and soon I could type in anything and have it come out sounding freakishly close. This is what my voice sounds like when I clone it. Let's see. This is what my voice sounds like when I clone it. Wow. And this is just based on five, ten minutes of my voice? Five minutes of audio, yeah. So we've got Lester in here, too. Please take care of yourselves and each other. With the tech has come the potential for misinformation and abuse. What's your reaction when you see headlines about hackers taking somebody's voice without their permission, replicating it, and impersonating them? We have to be very careful about uh, deploying these models out and how they're being accessed. Uh, we also have to be aware that these models are going to be used by everybody. Resemble AI says they have safeguards to prevent fraud, but critics say others don't. How do you see people using this technology? So think the types of phishing scams that we have all seen, but more sophisticated because now you're going to get a phone call from somebody that sounds like somebody you know. Meaning going forward, just because you hear it, doesn't mean you should believe it. Gunny Schwartz, NBC News.